Oh, how you fellas doing? Made it to the parking lot beers again tonight. Um, kind of helped out this old man today, and for some reason, uh, I brought up the only job interview that I had for doing this job. The only one. It was for right tree service. So, I got out of the Marine Corps, and right before you get out, they give you a class of how to conduct yourself for job interviews. And one of the things that they said is to look your very best, which means to put a suit and tie on, you know, be all clean and everything, all sparkly. You know, uh, they're saying to put out your best image possible, which makes sense. You know, uh, first impressions are very important. So, uh, I got out of the Marine Corps, and one of my friends is working for Right Tree Service. His name is Tom Smith. And uh, right away, he was like, you looking for a job? And I was like, hell no, I just put the, you know, put in a really hard four years of, you know, consistently doing stuff. <clears throat> well, about two weeks later, I, I was like, look, I'm fixing to lose my mind if I stay at the house. So what's up with this job? So he gave me all the information and everything. And, you know, the job interview was at a hotel and like a, you know, the banquet rooms that they have. And, you know, just going through this class of the Marine Corps, I had a suit and tie on. You know, I was all fancy and everything. I still had all my teeth. <laughs> um, but I walk into this place with the suit and tie on, and everybody at this job interview looks like me, a tree guy, you know. And the first thing I thought was, whoa, you're a little bit overdressed. <laughs> oh, but I was probably the first guy that I talked to the general foreman that was doing the hiring at that place. And uh, I didn't know anything about doing tree work. I, I drug brush when I was 17 or 18. That was, yeah, wow. I was not a tree guy. I never thought I would be where I am doing what I'm doing. But anyways, yeah, the the first thought when I walked into that door was, wow, I'm tad overdressed. But I ended up being the first guy that the general foreman interviewed. And he said that he was impressed. Because I just got out of the Marines. Uh, I looked like I looked. And he said I was the first person they was going to hire out of that. That was pretty cool. If I would have stayed with Wright, I'd be in a pickup truck. I probably would have still had all my teeth. But, um, yeah. Stuff happens, folks. I don't know that just sharing with y'all. That's all I got. I don't have no rock and roll right now. We're just trimming. <laughs> uh, I left my computer and everything at the house, so I don't have no ways to zing zang all of these videos and everything for this week. I hope y'all are doing good. We're staying safe. <laughs>